today we're going to share our experience during Hurricane Irma with all of you. And if you're new to our channel, I'm JC. And I'm Casey. We just want to say that we appreciate all of your thoughts and prayers during this time. And we really hope that anyone that was affected by this hurricane is okay and safe. And thank you so much for all of your concern. Yes, thank you so much. We're making this video because a lot of you asked what happened to us during the hurricane, so we wanted to share our experience. And also, we're making this for our family and friends who wanted to see as well. This is the first hurricane that we will remember. Yes, because when Hurricane Wilma hit Florida, we were too young to remember it. But now, since we're older, we're probably going to remember this hurricane. Yes, definitely. This was a very scary experience for us, and a lot of you asked us to film at 3 a.m., so we did. And this video is not clickbait. If you keep watching, you will see what happened during the storm at 3 a.m. and how the weather looked outside. It was scary. It really was. But before we begin, if you're new to our channel or haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to be a member of our Beach Family. So here's the footage. Okay, so we're at Target right now. We're gonna go shopping for some <laughs> hurricane supplies, even though everything's probably already sold out. I know, yeah. Uh, so we'll show you what it looks like inside. Right now, we are heading to the bread aisle. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right, so they don't have- They have food. a really good selection. Wow, so. look at that. Oh, it's so empty, we have no food. <laughs> I know, we really and don't. we just got back from Playlist Live, it's like really hard for us because we didn't have a lot of food at home. Yeah, we came back to like- Nothing. Yeah. They also don't have very many canned goods left over because like during a storm, you can't really cook if you no, lose you power. Can't. So, all the canned vegetables are gone. There's no water. Like, none at all. Oh my gosh. Nope. It's, <laughs> it's so empty. It's so hard to find water during, like, hurricane preparation. It's so hard to find bread and water. <sighs> so, here's what it looks like when a hurricane's coming. There's nothing here. So empty. <laughs> So even though the hurricane is coming, um, they set up for Halloween and they have a lot of like really cool costumes. So there's the panda head. <laughs> oh my gosh, so, it's so funny. funny. I love it. <laughs> and then they also have like food costumes. This makes me like so excited for Halloween. Yeah. Hey guys, it's Friday night and the winds are starting to pick up and we can tell that a hurricane is definitely coming. Yes, it's actually really scary now. Yeah, like we're outside and the trees are like blowing in the wind. Yes. I don't know if you can see. Oh my, oh gosh. my gosh. So It's really scary. Yeah. Like the trees are moving. <laughs> Tomorrow we're probably not going to be able to go outside. Like we're going to wake up and it's probably going to be raining. Mm -hmm. So scared. <laughs> But hopefully it's not gonna hit us too hard. Hopefully not. It's just hope. So we'll keep you updated. It is so windy outside and right now it is Saturday night. You can probably hear the wind on the camera, so I don't know if you can hear us talking. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the trees. They're like blowing in the wind. Oh, it's not Those clear. Those trees are ah. so skinny. Yeah, and then our neighbor has some coconut trees, so hopefully the coconuts don't go like flying everywhere. Oh my gosh. Right now it is 3 o'clock in the morning on Sunday, and we were filming from our window. As you can see, it was stormy and windy. During the 3 o'clock hour, we got a tornado warning on our phone and we ran to the window to see what was happening and this was honestly the scariest part because transformers were exploding and we think power lines were falling down and it looked like lightning in the sky. Later on in the morning, it was really windy and our canal had waves like the ocean. The water was rising and it completely covered our neighbor's lower dock. We went outside an hour later and this is what the trees look like. And our neighbor's dock was now completely underwater and 
Ours was underwater as well. So our power went out at like 12 and ever since then we haven't really had anything to do and our dad started running a generator so right now we have one light, our fridge, and our TV so we can at least watch movies and we also hooked up our Xbox so we've been playing Minecraft. <laughs> That was all the footage, and this was a very scary experience for us. It was, and it was our first hurricane that we're gonna remember, and we've never seen our dock underwater before. That was like the first time that happened. Yes, and so if another hurricane ever comes, we probably will evacuate because if the water kept rising, it would have reached the level of our house and then probably flooded, flooded our house. Yeah. It also was really scary hearing all of the different things hitting our roof and the wind coming really hard against our window. Yes, I could not sleep. It was so loud. Yeah, and some of our neighbor's trees actually fell over and that was very sad. A lot of the trees fell over. Yeah. We were without power for four days and Florida was very hot. It was like a hundred degrees outside. So the heat just kept coming into our house and we didn't have air conditioning. So our house was around 85 degrees and that was very hot for and us. And it kept rising. Yeah. We just wanted to say everyone who's affected by this hurricane, you are in our thoughts and prayers. And also if you made it to the end of this video, we are going to be putting in some footage of the beach after the hurricane because we did end up going. And we got some footage. Thank you all for watching this video and thank you for all of your thoughts and prayers. We'll see you next time. We love you so much. Bye! Bye.